Hi guys, I was so not going to do a sparkle today because I'm still kind of trying to pull it together from having a headache yesterday. And I still have not quite made it completely over the hump. But then I decided that, you know, I had some thoughts. And you know, when I have some thoughts, I have to share them with somebody. Um, yes, my hair is doing funky things because I just took a shower and it's wet and I don't, other than in the shower with conditioner, when it's out of the shower until it starts drying a whole lot, I don't take a comb or a brush through it. Um, that's one of those tips for those of you that want to know how I get my hair to be so pretty and long. Um, I take care of it. Simple. Um, we're a little bit lower down than what I normally have the camera that's okay because I'm probably going to need to lay back a little bit because with everything you know there's always back pain yay um which is something that I was going to talk to you about too but as I do it later in the video but since it's on my brain let's just go there um yeah as you know you use the hot pepper shebang butter that's one of my tools it's in my arsenal to deal with my chronic pain i used it yesterday to help with the migraine um it did not make the migraine go away but it did make me feel better so that's a big plus um, when you're dealing with migraine and the nausea and all that good stuff that comes along with migraine with actual migraine i'm not talking about i had a bad headache i have migraine there's a difference Migraine is a neurological disorder. Blah, 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 blah. That, you know, it's, you know. Anyway, I'm not saying that you don't have. I'm just saying there's a difference between a tension headache, a bad headache, and migraine. There's a, di a whole different thing. Anyway, did use this at the onset. Uh, well, not at the onset because, once again, I miss Prodome. I talked about that in the last couple of videos. But whenever the aura hit and I realized the pain was coming on, I slathered that down my the back of my neck, um, kind of the places that I could get it around my wrists. I actually put it around the front of my neck, which I don't normally do. Um, later on, I put it on my TMJ joint, um, which TMJ is a disorder, but it's also the name of the joint. So if you have TMJ, everybody has TMJ. If you don't add the disorder part to it, you just have a bone, a joint right here where two bones meet. That you know, it's a hinge for your jaw. Just a little education out there. Anyway, uh, moving forward, the hot pepper shebang did make me feel better. Um, the smelling the lavender is relaxing and calming, and I noticed that when my nausea started, what was right about the time that I put that on, and it did help. I didn't have to take nausea medicine yesterday so because I, I used the hot pepper shebang first and so you know just putting that out there if the next time it may not stop the nausea we don't know it might my, my migraines switch more than you know the symptoms and everything like that can just surprise me so anyway just wanted to talk about that and then I wanted to talk about you know, I am in search of always, always, always things, tools to help me with my pain issues because I have chronic pain. It's just what it is, folks. Um, I'm not, I don't want sympathy. I don't want, you know, I'm trying, I, I, I'm doing this because yes, I have pain, but yes, I have tools. And talking to you is one of my tools. And if I can help you deal with a situation, that helps me tremendously because just because I have chronic pain or you have chronic pain or depression or any of those you know anxiety or anything like that it does not mean that you don't have something to contribute to this world and to make this world a better place you have you are valuable just how you are you have value you have worth you have something to contribute that's why I do YouTube that's why I do these videos. That's why I sell Posh. Because everybody is valuable. Everybody is worth something. 
okay? And I'm not talking your monetary net worth. I'm talking about your worth as a person. You are worth respect. You are worth love. You are worth goodness. Now, you, some of those things you have to make yourself worth, like, you know, trustworthy. You have to make work at that one. I've had to make myself trustworthy because I've done things in my past that weren't good and I broke trust. So I had to work really hard to make myself trustworthy again. Um, so therefore, moving forward, one of the other tools and, you know, because of the issues with my back, I cannot get down into the tub and to take a hot bath, which I would love to do. And I know that there are other people that probably cannot. So, you know, it took me a while to really address Posh's line of bath salts. Um, this is no longer a problem for me. Uh, the mayor, as I affectionately call him, which is my father, um, does what he calls, a, we call it a sauna bath. Um, he has neuropathy. And one of the ways that he has found that helps his foot pain and his leg pain, when he gets ready to take a shower, before he takes a shower, he fills the tub up with hot water. Um, pretty much as hot as he can stand it. Um, we call it a sauna bath for a reason, because if you're ever there, you will feel like the whole house becomes a sauna. He turns the heat up in the house, and he turns a little heater on in the bathroom and has it cooking hot before he even starts the hot water. Um, I don't know how he does it because <laughs> I'm, I'm back in the bedroom with my little fan hiding. But anyway, I love him and whatever he has to do to make himself more comfortable is okay with me. Um, but anyway, so this morning when I got ready to take my shower, I've been kind of thinking about, and I had talked about, you know, you can sprinkle this in the bottom of your shower and use it that way instead of in a bath. And I thought, well, how can I really try this and really, you know, give it a really good try? So I thought about it and I thought, you know, because, I mean, you don't have to stop the tub up to use this. You don't have to. But if you do, I stopped the tub up, but not prior to taking my shower. As I started my shower, I stopped the tub up. And I just used kind of like you know, my shower water. Um, not completely the stuff that was hitting my body, but the, as the shower was getting to the right temperature, I put probably a teaspoonful of the amazing highly concentrated fragrance salts. And all of the bath salts come with, they're made with rosemary, um, sunflower oil, sea salt. And they're hand mixed and they're highly concentrated. So you smell the goodness. There, you know, there is a lot in them. Um, so this one has spearmint oil. And I'm going to tell you, while I was in the bath, while I was in the shower, I could smell this even as I was shampooing my hair and, you know, washing my body. I could smell still this. Not overpoweringly in between, you know, whenever I rinsed my hair, I could smell this still in the shower. And why, why I'm saying that is because I don't want you to, I want you to understand that this stayed with me. It didn't go down the drain. Um, but what was even better was whenever I noticed that my feet felt cool and that my feet, I have pain in my feet too. Not as badly as my parents do, but because I have issues with my back and I have nerve damage, all of that's connected to your feet. So I do have issues with foot pain. And any time I can make my feet feel better, it makes me feel better. So um, when I got out of the shower, I just kind of not kept noticing that my feet felt cool. Not cold, but cool. And they felt good. And it's like, wow. Yeah, that little foot soak that I gave myself while I was taking a shower with the amazing, all mixed up bath salts from Posh, made a difference. It 
what happened while I was taking the shower was my feet, which is a good thing, guys, were soaking up all the goodness and getting rid of some of the ick that's in my body. Um, now, this one isn't exactly a detox salt. Posh does have that. But, you know, soaking up all of the goodness in this, soaking up all of the sea salt, the spearmint, the rosemary, the sunflower seed oil. Yeah, that's all goodness for your body. It's all helping to relieve your pain, relax you, make you in a better mood, and make you feel better. Because if your feet feel good, the rest of you feels good. So anyway, I wanted to share that with you, and I'm just really impressed. You know, it's another tool in my pain arsenal. Um, if you can't stand up to take a shower, you know, you can still use the product. You could even use it, you know, just sprinkle a little bit in them little foot bath doohickeys that massage your feet and stuff. You could use it in those. Um, I wished I could lay in a bath and get the full effect. But anyway, have nothing on my face except for a little bit of moisturizer. Um, using up another brand so I did not use a posh brand today it is what it is guys I'm gonna tell you I used what possibly was oh my gosh the most disgusting and I don't mean this any other way other than for me it was oh my gosh disgusting but it worked um, I used the real chemistry Newman is three minute peel and this came in one of my subscription boxes. I would think it was a birch box. I can't remember. I've had the I've had the product. You know, this is why I stopped getting them for so long, um, or for a while. It works, but it's so disgusting because as you are massaging it on, it picks up the dead skin and rolls it into little like goopy balls. Ugh. It was gross. I'm just going to tell you, it, for me, it was gross and disgusting, but it works. Um, and because of the gross and disgusting, this is a product I would not buy. I've done exfoliating and stuff like that, and I don't have to do a peel. <laughs> I don't want to ever do, you know, I'll use, probably use the rest of what's in here. Maybe, I don't know if I can bring myself back to doing it. It took me a long time to brave up to do it. Um, but anyway... Moving forward, hit use the apricots overnight from Posh. Um, ma uh, yeah. Overnight intensive moisture mask. I love this stuff. My skin is dry. I abused it as a teenager and into, well, up to a couple years ago. Being out in the sun without sunblock, um, tanning and tanning beds and things like that. I am grateful and thankful that I don't have skin cancer because I'm one of those people that really pushed it really pushed it um so anyway I ha I'm paying the price now because I have to keep my skin healthy and I have to keep adding moisture and things of that nature back to it so let's move forward because this video is chalking up some minutes and I didn't even plan a video today so let's pull out a scripture card from our keep calm and trust God and it is 2 Thessalonians 3 and 3. The Lord is faithful and he will strengthen and protect you. And the back says, from Dwight L. Moody, the quote is, Faith makes all things possible. That's all I got for today because that's just it. So, I thank you for watching my videos. Remember, I am the mayor's daughter. I thank you for all your support. I thank you for watching. I thank you for subscribing. I encourage you to subscribe. I encourage you to watch these videos. You might get something. You might learn something. You might pick up a tip. You might pick up something that might make your day a little bit brighter. My goal is to uplift you in some form or fashion. Um, something I say may be a, a laughing at me, laughing at something silly that I did. I want to uplift you. I want to make it better for you. I want to help your day be a little bit brighter. So I thank you for watching and thank you for hanging in there with me because sometimes these get pretty lengthy. Um, I appreciate your support. 
If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give me a thumbs down. I'll make a sad face, but we're going to go forward. Um, subscribe. Leave me positive feedback on how I can make this better. And remember, yet again, I am the mayor's daughter. I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. See you. Bye.